we get some detergents, we get some diapers. Neighbors helping neighbors combat hunger. Grassroot community food banks are starting and expanding in Calgary like the Love with Humanity Association that sets up community cupboards or the Forest Lawn Community Food Bank. With more initiatives like this in our communities, is food insecurity in Canada being reduced? When it comes to the milk, we try to see how long this one will last. So this one, for example, you dilute it when you need it with the, with the water. Gargar founded the Forest Lawn Bank. He says some families need food while waiting for a hamper from the Calgary Food Bank. That's the biggest need that we always look for. We hope, number one, to sustain it, to see it running, and at least to help one family that it needs even just once a month or twice a month. And to do that, we can do it without a donations. Queen's University professor Elaine Power has been doing work relating to food insecurity for 30 years. Power says she appreciates the heartfelt gesture of grassroots food banks, but the initiatives will not be able to end food insecurity for the millions of Canadians that face it. The, the only thing that the research has shown that reduces food insecurity is income, more income for people. And if you look at the rates of social assistance, for example, and minimum wage jobs of people working in the gig economy, and you look at their income and compare it to the cost, basic costs of living for shelter and food, it, it's easy to understand why there's so many people food insecure because it just doesn't add up. Power says that food banks do allow people to be less hungry, but they don't dent the number of food insecure. Helping people in his neighborhood be less hungry is something that Gar is helping to accomplish with the Forest Lawn Bank. And we brought that uh, in concept of grassroots that it takes a village to raise a child. I myself might be in the same position tomorrow. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.